Good morning, says the building friends and strangers. The birds are singing, the weed whackers are whacking, the jackals are all tucked safely in their dens asleep, getting ready for tonight's prowl, and we are here preparing for a trip to Paris. I'm going to do a quick flip through for you of another journal for this occasion, another travel journal. I've made a series of three um, for some girlfriends. So this one is for a girl whose favorite colors are aqua and orange. Handsome combination, quite far from my wheelhouse, but uh, I've used a lot of the papers from the Paris Paper Pack and La Vie en Rose, anyhow, because they kind of, they worked with the color scheme still. So, a little flip through. Um, I've included an envelope from my Woodland Mega Journal because I'm just completely obsessed with this envelope, so <laughs> I can't stop using it. Um, we have a dragon book plate for her here. And oh, this is neat, little ring, page marker. I like to tie jewelry to my journals sometimes. Um, she was an equestrian trick rider, so I've got some nice equestrian images. And there will be a stop in Nice at the beginning of the journey, so here's a little Nice postcard, which you can write notes on. maps of old Paris from I think the 1600s bit of marbled rose and papers this little ribbon bookmark here oh and in the background of this page I've put on a very thin it's hard to see but it says Paris in some cool fonts. This is from the graphics fairy. Uh, the background paper is from Pegasus Paper Co. But the the words Paris I put on from the graphics fairy. Um, just for the occasion. More antique maps, balloons. Some Monet background. The florals. Lots and lots of writing and sketching space. I always like to make sure there's room to actually add to the journals. And here, because she likes dragons, I've got a double dragon card and some journaling cards here. And I thought this might get a bit much for her, so I've actually made it a removable bookmark. So this lace is not a permanent edition. We've got a nice French card. Hippodrome. More maps. This is part of a set I gave away for free to the people on my mailing list. So if you are on the Pegasus Paper Co. mailing list and didn't get it, check your recent emails. You can search for Pegasus Paper Co. in your inbox. If you didn't see it, it might just be going to the spam folder, but this is one of our recent freebies here from this month, I think. See, I always give a freebie for video when I can, when I remember to. The monuments of Paris, all these different historic sites. Some lined paper, links. That's the other side of that freebie set. This is from a French dictionary page. This is from either the birds or the butterflies that I can't remember. This is La Vie en Rose. This is, I think, Paris or La Vie en Rose. I'm not sure which set. I'll put links to everything. You can peek around if you like. These are all scenes from actual Parisian life. you can see it, but there are faded roses in the background of some of these. More journaling space, a little journal card. Vintage postcard from a dear friend. Ah, and this is another, this is the writing desk. It's a little kit that I've made. Um, 
with all these little pieces so I can move them around and create little scenes for my friends that suit their personalities. Oh, what's that? Perhaps I pressed that a bit too tightly, but this is a little pop-up butterfly. <laughs> Let's try that again. Ah, I'll need to reaffix it. And these drawers all open and close, although they're too small to put anything in. I just thought it was cute. Um, I gave her a nice cup of tea to work with. Some journaling cards in that envelope. This is from a, an art book I published a while ago, which is available on the second floor of the MoMA in New York. And these are some vintage postcards. Some envelopes here made from random ephemera I've been collecting. More French artwork. The other, another envelope with what's in here? Ah, <laughs> more art that I thought she would like. And this is cool. This is removable, but it's all these different kinds of fancy paper turned into a pad. All matching the flowers, of course. So she can take that out if the journal gets too thick, but I just thought it would be nice to play with some different textures there. Tag, bookmark, journaling card, this beautiful French envelope. More journaling cards. This is um, a little card catalog where you can write down favorite quotes and responses to some work that you've read. Books, of course. I'm always talking about books. <laughs> uh, more fancy envelopes. I just love these. And these are spell papers, also available in the shop. All the symbols represent the elements and trefoil. Um, lots of power and protection symbols here. The idea being that it's supposed to just remind you of your strength and your ability to create a safe space where you can be strong. Here are some symbols of different colored candles and what they represent. A little tuck space here. I need to give her a little treat. Let's give her something. I have. There we go, that's better. There should always be things in the places. All right, more of these here. This is from the Walk in the Winter Woods kit, which is just paper backgrounds that are really subtle and lovely, kind of foggy. This is a dragon paper I made especially for her because she has a thing for dragons. This is more from Walk in the Woods, or no, sorry, from the Fort Woodland Mega Journal kit. And this is an envelope not from Pegasus Paper Co., but from the Paper Cameo, my dear friend who has an amazing Etsy shop. She makes more pretty, um, pretty printables than I do. They're really lovely. She has all these sort of romantic and dreamy pages. I'm obsessed with her envelopes, so I threw that in for her. Go give her a look if you have a chance. She's just wonderful. Paper Cameo. Um, and here's another tuck spot with more journaling cards, bookmarks, things like that. Some more dragons, bookmarks, book plates, journaling cards, all clipped on here. I'm not sure if this is accurate, but I have it in my head that she's probably a pretty organized person, so I've made a lot of things detachable so she could have a thinner journal in case the bulk gets to her. I tend to overstuff things. More journaling cards. Some antique book pages. And there you have it. C'est la vie.